femur proximal metaphyseal fracture 31-m-31-2. Fixation using the LCP pediatric hip plate 3.5 millimeters, 130 degrees. In this exercise, the procedure of the fixation of a lateral femoral neck fracture 31-m-31-2 using the 3.5 mm LCP plate 130 degrees will be demonstrated. The LCP plates are available in 3.5 and 5.0 mm and are universally designed for the left and right femur for the fracture treatment and rotation of the proximal femur. The three proximal plate holes positioned at the proximal femoral neck are threaded for locking screws. The angular stability of the proximal fixation reduces the risk of primary and secondary loss of fixation. The combi holes along the plate shaft combine a dynamic compression unit DCU hole with a locking screw hole. However, compression and locking screws must not be mixed along the shaft. Improved connections between screw and plate, as well as within the cortical bone, make casting unnecessary in the majority of cases. Upon completion of this exercise, you should be able to identify the challenges presented by proximal femoral fractures, perform the anatomical reduction and stable fixation, and identify the advantages of using the LCP pediatric hip plate. The clinical indications for the 3.5mm and 5.0mm LCP plate 130 degrees are fractures of the femoral neck 31 dash M slash 31123 and 31 dash M slash 32123 and rotational correction of increased antiversion or retroversion. There are no specific contraindications. The clinical case shows a mid cervical femoral neck fracture 31 dash M slash 311 on the right leg of a 14-year-old patient involved in an accident. Open reduction by a transgluteal approach in the lateral position was performed. The four-month postoperative X-ray shows a stable fixation. The one-year postoperative X-ray shows good healing and the correct position has been achieved. For fracture treatment or rotational correction, the patient can be placed in a supine or lateral position However, the lateral position makes a radiolucent table unnecessary. In the lateral position, the leg is raised on a stable positioning block. Intraoperative AP, lateral and axial image intensification must be referred to after each step of the procedure. In this demonstration, the bone model is positioned laterally. The instruments required include the positioner for aiming block, the aiming block for screws 3.5 mm for LCP pediatric hip plates, the screwdriver hexagonal 3.5 mm, the K-wire adapter, the LCP drill sleeve 3.5 for drill bits diameter 2.8 mm, the direct measuring device for Kirchner wires diameter 2.8 mm, the LCP drill bit diameter 2.8 mm with stop, the positioner for osteotomy for 3.5 and 5.0 plates and the 1.5 newton meter torque limiting screwdriver. Note that final tightening of the locking screws must be performed with the 1.5 newton meter torque limiting screwdriver. The landmarks for the lateral approach are the greater trochanter and anterior superior iliac spine asis. In the clinical situation, both are palpated and outlined with a sterile marking pen. Clinically, an open anatomical reduction would be performed. Note that the periosteum on the bone model is dissected in order to expose the lateral femoral fracture 31-M-312. In the clinical situation, the approach is marked directly on the skin. However, as there is no soft tissue represented, the incision is marked directly on the bone model. And, for practical purposes, a small area of plastic used to replicate the periosteum is removed as it clogs the drill bit. Two 1.6 mm K wires are inserted into the femoral head and positioned so they do not interfere with later screw insertion. 
These K-wires function as joysticks, allowing fine-tuning of the reduction. Once anatomical reduction of the femoral fragment has been verified visually and by intraoperative imaging, the reduction forceps is positioned to maintain the reduction. The first K-wire is inserted anteriorly towards the calcar. and a second K-wire is inserted posteriorly. The temporary reduction is verified by intraoperative imaging. The reduction forceps is removed. A 1.6 mm smooth K-wire is used to indicate the antiversion. The first landmark for the guide wire is the height in relation to the apophyseal line. A red line is marked 8 to 10 millimeters away from the apophyseal line, representing the entry point height of the 3.5 mm LCP plate 130 degrees. Note that the midline of the greater trochanter does not correspond to the midline axis of the femur shaft, as the greater trochanter overlaps the femoral shaft by at least 30%. It is crucial that the entry point is in the axis of the femoral shaft, not in the midline of the greater trochanter. The correct entry point is verified through AP image intensification. The positioner for aiming block is set to an anatomical angulation of a normal pediatric femoral shaft neck angle, which is 130 degrees in the majority of cases. The aiming block for screws is slotted into the positioner for aiming block. The positioning guide wire 2.0 mm is inserted into the corresponding hole of the assembled guiding instrument. Be aware it is crucial not to confuse the three holes of the aiming block for screws. The positioning guide wire within the assembled guiding instrument is brought to the bone at the planned entry point. Be aware that clinically it may be challenging to position the guide wire and assembled instrument at the precise entry point. In order to ensure that the guide wire is positioned at the correct entry point, the assembled instrument is removed. A guide wire is used to create a pilot hole on the bone at the correct entry point. The assembled instrument is repositioned and the guide wire within the assembled instrument is positioned on the bone at the target location. The assembled instrument is maneuvered until the 2 mm guide wire is parallel to the guide wire indicating antiversion. The guide wire is inserted 3 to 4 centimeters. The assembled instrument is removed and the correct positioning is verified under image intensification in the AP and axial view. With the guide wire in the correct position, the assembled instrument is repositioned over the positioning guide wire. The first 2.8 mm K wire for screws is inserted up to the physis. Note that in a case with a more proximal neck fracture, the 2.8 mm K wire for screws must be inserted through the growth plate and into the femoral head. Clinically, the insertion depth would be verified with AP and axial image intensification. In this exercise, the insertion depth is verified by aligning an external 2.8 mm K wire for screws. The second 2.8 mm K wire for screws is inserted and the Kirschner wire adapter is used to complete insertion to prevent contact of the drill chuck with the 2.8 mm K wire for screws. The assembled instrument for K wires is removed and the correct position of all three K wires for screws and the positioning guide wire are verified with axial image intensification. Two LCP drill sleeves 3.5 for drill bits diameter 2.0 mm are attached to the proximal holes of the 3.5 mm LCP plate 130 degrees
and tightened with the positioner for osteotomy. The 3.5mm LCP plate 130 degrees with attached LCP drill sleeves is passed over the guide wire and both K wires for screws. It is crucial that the proximal guide wire remains in place until the locking screws have been inserted as the plate must be fixed to the bone with at least two anchoring points. The direct measuring device for Kirchner wires 2.8 mm is passed over the proximal upper K wire. Observe that the measurement device must be rotated to obtain the correct measurement. Here the screw length is 70 mm. The first K wire for screws is removed using the Kirchner wire adapter. And the LCP drill sleeve 3.5 is removed. A 70 mm locking screw is initially inserted under power. and final tightened with the 1.5 Newton meter torque limiting screwdriver. The screw insertion steps are repeated and here a second 70 mm locking screw is inserted. The guide wire is removed. The LCP drill sleeve 3.5 is attached to the third proximal plate hole. The LCP drill bit 2.8 mm with stop is used to drill the hole into the femoral neck. The depth is measured directly from the drill bit. Here it is 70 mm. The LCP drill sleeve 3.5 is removed and the locking screw insertion steps are repeated. Here a 70 mm screw is inserted. Note that the three proximal screws for the 3.5 mm LCP plate must be locking screws. The reduction joysticks and temporary fixation guide wires are removed. The LCP drill sleeves 3.5 are attached to the most proximal and distal plate shaft holes. Note that in this procedure the LCP plate functions as a washer and is fixed as an internal fixator. The LCP drill bit 2.8 mm is used to drill holes into the femoral shaft. The depth is measured directly from the drill bit and here the first is 40 mm and the second is 60 mm. Both screws are inserted initially under power and final tightened with the 1.5 Newton meter torque limiting screwdriver. Observe that the plate does not completely contact the bone because the bone model has a shaft neck angle of 120 degrees. Clinically, if this situation occurs, the plate must be fixed with locking screws as demonstrated in this exercise. Observe that the locking compression plate system allows the plate to function as an internal fixator and provides accurate stability. Clinically, if the plate is not flush to the bone, there is no evidence of soft tissue or muscle irritation. Note that if cortical screws are used, the plate must be aligned to the bone and the cortical screws must be inserted into the corresponding section of the combi holes on the plate shaft. You should now be able to identify the challenges presented by proximal femoral fractures, perform the anatomical reduction and stable fixation, and identify the advantages of using the LCP pediatric hip plate.